it is portfolio time. It is also the first time I'm recording in my new design office room, whatever you want to call it. And I'm honestly heavily debating whether or not I want to vlog or not. We'll see if I do. If you don't support it, I'm going to cry. So it is what it is. But until then, let's go ahead and just look at some really fun portfolios and just like get inspired. What What's a better way to break in a new room than just good design? But as always, do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. If you guys do not know what it is, all 28 of my custom made products that you get on that one purchase, plus all future products free. So up first, we have Raffi Fish and his portfolio just seems to look like, it just looks dope, if I'm honest, right? If I'm gonna give it a nice little quick look, the first scan that I feel like this person enjoys grunge, they enjoy ink bleed, they probably love apparel. They just like have that style that it's also very nailed down, but also at the same time, there's a lot to, di like, to digest here. The first thing I want to say is this sweater I would wear. <laughs> graphic, graphic arts and ibuprofen, right? Honestly, this guy has like a really good objective when it comes to sort of like typography in the base. Like even just looking through this, it's simplicity in its own. There's like this little ink bleed that's happening. Sometimes the little kerning things that's happening possibly uh, with also, can I pause it? I can't pause it. Well, like, hold on, I, got, I can do this. Yes, I did it. See, right, very simple stuff. Just using like a liquify or even like a, what's it called? Wrap tool kind of effect. It's very simple in its own right. The, the, the way you put it together and you put it, you know, make it work together, it's really dope. I love though, looking at full projects, like an actual product that you took from point A to point B. And I feel like a lot of these are your final works, which is also really dope, like final pieces, right? I would just wonder like in my mind, not like sort of like saying you can't do this, right? But I would wonder in my mind, if I'm hiring you, I'd be like, can this person like take an art direction from uh, zero to like hero or to have a bunch of different ideas or know how to stretch his art direction across multiple different pieces of content or media? That'd be my immediate question. Like I actually just realized that what I just mentioned was right here, right? The wind and sea NBA capsule. Uh, when you click through it, you can definitely see this is more of an art direction uh, idea going on here. And still then it's 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 still in this really awkward format. I don't like I don't like looking through slides, if I'm being honest. I'm like weird about that. This is kind of what I mean. I love this approach to design as much as I love seeing a collage of really cool work. I want to know that if I'm going to ask this person to do an art direction, can they take it from point A to point B? And if they can't, I don't know if I can see it. I don't know if I can trust it. And if I see it for somewhere else, I'm going to put more attention, my attention, excuse me, towards that more than anything. So that's just food for thought. But Raffi, this is a super dope portfolio. Okay, so up next is Chris and their portfolio. If I just were to take a quick look, I'm just kind of seeing a lot of color, which I enjoy. There's some portfolios that I see and I look at the front, like the, the homepage and I'm like, that's a lot of the same color. I know a lot of you guys love your blues, stop. Okay, expand. But despite that, what this tells me is this person has a flexible sort of uh, art direction in, in different ways and different color schemes and knows how to explore with color, which is a massive thing right now for at least me and my world. Uh, if I were to click the first one, we look at Overworld or Overworld uh, Arena. Right, we got a nice simple project portfolio, which is what I was referring to it. I feel like I wanted from Raffi in, in, a, in a different way. He's definitely had it, but probably also knows how to do art direction. You get the point what I'm trying to say though. But this person kind of has a nice little breakdown of color palette, the objective, what it's about, we got iconography, we got motion, we got color. This looks pretty freaking dope. The typography, it's the simplicity of it is sim like simple, right? But also the iconography just makes it come to life really easily and using the iconography as a pattern element is pretty fun. Going down, I mean, this is also really fun, really dope. Overall, I would say this is a super dope product. I mean, there's plenty of in here. I'm, I'm looking for games. Let me just look at this guy. I mean, the logo is also pretty cool. This little animation, it's, it's, it's fun. I wouldn't say I understand completely where it was coming from, but oh, I love the Anbox previous direction when they were around. This Cartoon Network direction is cool too. I mean, this mood board alone is just sick. Oh, that's how you use it. You know what? I actually really enjoy that. I'm personally always scared of using gradients in like an art direction. I used to use it like quite a lot, but then I kind of felt myself getting like trapped a little bit because sometimes the highlights and shadows just did not cooperate. Kudos to you for it working. I'm just curious if we were to stretch this art direction and see what actually could happen. I, I'd be worryful of the, of the gradient stuff, but I also really enjoy the looking for gamers ones. 7-Eleven Gaming Hub. I mean, this seems like more of like a more general base art direction and sort of like simplistic in its own nature and right. I will suggest though, in my opinion, it's not as strong as the overworld or the looking for gamers project. This is where I'm gonna take a second to be like, I always advise you guys to, to update your portfolio. If something it doesn't belong anymore, if you feel like something wasn't like up to par and you feel like you need to just add something to your portfolio because it's been too long, you know how good you are, right? But the first impression is one other thing, right? Someone who's first looking at your portfolio is gonna look at something like, ooh, that's a, that's a dope W, absolute, oh, that's a dope W, and then, 
in my way i saw 7-eleven i was like it's good right but it doesn't even compare in my opinion to the overworld or looking for gamers portfolio piece so this is where i would just say minimum you should have in your portfolio is like three or four really solid projects okay i've hired contractors freelancers full-time people who just only had like three projects in their portfolio because that's you kind of get it at that point but chris this is a w in my book so i enjoy it i love i love the overworld one i really do so up next we have tristan roberts and i'm immediately greeted with some motion design which i really enjoy so i want to click on this guy right this guy's smiley as heck so it looks like we're immediately going into like a senior design wait what is this designing the senior exhibition alongside peers okay so this is a deliverables we have a few art directors how do you have three of them i could, I, I feel like i could just like feel this conversation like yo can i be the art director i think i'm the art director no, i'm the art director either way immediately we're introduced to this idea of the actual exhibition motion design being featured in i guess in its real life i guess it's like a video or something like that seeing your work in person is one thing but also capturing is another thing because you get to you know i got my first ever billboard photo when i got my the first ever billboard i was excited about that you know what i mean like fairfax that was pretty sick anyway i mean i enjoy the playful of the typography right i actually don't even know what i'm really looking at this is this is the name is tristan roberts okay art director i don't know i don't know exactly it says take in shape okay it's like a campaign of like graphics in general okay makes sense i mean that is literally beautiful honestly this is sick Ooh, what's this interactive magazine and if we go through oh it's just it's just it's just it's just doing right when you say interactive That was fun. Our kids. Ah. Oh. Dude, this is so dope, actually. I don't know. That 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 was a fun portfolio. Let's go. Let's head, let's head to the next one. So we got some more uh sports graphic stuff. It looks like esports slash sports. We have Amit. All right, honestly, at first glance, I really enjoyed some double exposure ideas that's going on here. This one is really, really fun and cool as well. I could see some fun expiration as well and some like highlights and shadows, which is like my worst nightmare possible sometimes. You know, challenge yourselves with lights and shadows out there, okay? They, they make a big difference. Let's look at the esports graphics though. This one here is pretty strong for me. I like this idea of team versus team and actually using assets from both teams. You don't really see that very often, but what this also could mean though, is that, you know, this is not a part of a team. You just did it for the fun of it, which is also finding fun, but the concept of it, I really enjoy it though. I think in the world of esports, a lot of the design teams themselves or design uh, organizations, you know, work with each other a lot more often. There's a world where I want to do that push for myself with energy itself. But the design of some of these are really, really fun, really dope. And again, story driven as well. So I, I can always appreciate that. But honestly, Amet, this is super dope. Can you have a portfolio video without at least showing some thumbnail portfolios? So we have Deal Toma with his featured thumbnails. Let's take pride in combining design and strategy that exceeds your expectations. Uh, explore my featured thumbnails below. 21. 1.5 billion views on thumbnail clicks is super dope. I love, this feels like more like a service than a portfolio, but I can still, it's it's selling me. I'm seeing some familiar faces that I see up top here uh, where the magic happens. Okay, I love the, I just love everything moving. I'm a sucker for things in motion. If we scroll down though, it looks like we're just, can I click on this? Not exactly. Okay, so this is more of an idea of just, oh, I guess like showing it in like a YouTube format, technically, right? Right, it's just a YouTube thumbnail the views it produced, but these are your thumbnails. That's pretty cool. You might be like, so it's the same thing as Behance, but like, I, it's like, I'm also looking at YouTube. And that's probably a thought process here. And it definitely, it's definitely resonating with me, right? Like I would click on these thumbnails. Honestly, this is just so dope though, right? I can, I, can, I guess you can just scroll endlessly until you get down here. Okay, so get in touch. The work, it speaks for itself, right? I really enjoy it. Thumbnail designers can definitely take a look into it. There's one thing of showing your thumbnails all colorful and cool and dope. But if objectively, or how do you say this? You're not gonna go into a conversation with a really cool YouTuber who's popular, who's looking for a person to help them, right? And be like, I make pretty thumbnails. You like them? Do you want me to do, you want me to do them for you? I would rather you do something close to this idea where you're kind of saying like, oh, hey, look at my thumbnails. I help produce, you know, a 30% increase here on click-through rate with these strategies from the previous. And then I also help me draw more views from this to this and that and the third, right? That's more of the idea of how you wanna actually introduce yourself as a thumbnail designer. You know, take it as a service, that also counts as a service that builds business and not just as a service that makes it look pretty. Up next, we have Gigs. Now, Gigs seems to be a person, I definitely remember clicking on this uh, specific project in the past. 
don't know if it was on stream or like during this video, right? But I really in love this color scheme. This is just super sick. I wanted to give it a quick little note just in case you haven't seen it. I mean, this is just absurdly cool. But this is, seems to be his newest project. We have Sparks Esports 2024 Visual Identity right uh, oh like it's like a shelled render so we got a little bit of mood board action going on uh creato display that's a that's a nice font tusker always a classic i think it's free too seems to be the team name the logo itself is this idea of an s with like this uh geometric shapes and and circle cross hairy kind of idea going around it i enjoy it oh oh i like that this guy just like sits in his pocket and it works right these neutral grays these whites these offset whites with these like ideas of uh even the render is shell shaded white but then you get the splash of green it's fun oh and this treatment is also really cool too it's like a glass morph morph kind of thing going on that's really dope oh my god what is this uh shock stream visuals i would love to know what the thought process is behind of why we're looking at this box with like this morphing thing going on around like what is it called like glass it's not glass glass morphism is it that it might be right we only get a breakdown of who this actual person is i'm not on your art direction but even if it was just simplicity of the idea of like oh it's just to do this right i there's got to be something in your head that you can like think of immediately because it's kind of like subconsciously why you did it right i love the idea of looking at a portfolio and getting the answer to my reasoning of why you did something right because then it just allows me to connect with you further rather than just visually but also intellectually that'd be my only gripe for these portfolios is it doesn't really tell me why you did what you did but it looks good it's things like that you want to consider right when you're always thinking of your, your your portfolio it's basically your business of graphic design right and the way you want to kind of market yourself doesn't always equal cool design is cool design but also the why helps you kind of sell to corporate and then if you get enough of both the cool design and the why then you have these other metrics that can show exactly why it's just you because like look at your cool metrics i, I did this and i helped this i have to help this grow all that good stuff right there's like three stages to it so a really cool portfolio too so i'm gonna say that this is the end of the video right a lot of these things had a, a few different things that of course i think i can leave a mark on uh of how i would do it a little bit differently or how i would you know the way i look at portfolios nowadays is like would i hire this person anyone in this world can make something look good it's about how to sell what looks good that way it helps align a lot of the things past just design you can pass this on to motion you can pass this on to socials you can pass this on to partners and all that good stuff and they can all understand exactly what it is and they can also then just always elevate it even further because everyone's on the same exact page because thanks to your art direction so with that i just love yapping i love looking at you know design stuff and i also just you know I'm in a good mood and this stuff put me in a better mood. So, you know, if you watch this video, you learned something, you enjoyed something, you got inspired by something, don't forget to leave a like, comment down what your favorite portfolio was, or maybe just like, I don't know, say hi. But with that, Sesso HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking perfect, guys. Little much love, peace, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you guys next time.